Welcome to True Power, home of the most powerful marketing tools, training, and technology on planet Earth. Get ready to earn, enjoy, and experience more than you ever dreamed was possible. If you're tired of just getting by and ready to really thrive, then buckle in and listen up. Here's your host, Matt Fox. Well, hello, hello, and welcome this fine day. Happy holidays. Today on episode 251 of True Power Academy, we are going to talk about customer engagement and how True Power is making it easier to engage with customers using our new AI managed content. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Uh, starting with a short overview video. So, How would you like to increase your customer renewals by 30%? Did you know that every month in our industry, so much revenue is lost simply because many brokers leave everything at the initial sale and do not follow up with their customers? The relationship is already there, and yet it is not utilized. Fortune 500 companies have mastered the art of what we know as customer engagement, and we want to give you the same set of tools to help your business. Our new Customer Engagement Center is an evolving series of professionally made and AI managed content that can increase your contract renewal rate by an average of 30%. This intelligent feature distributes world-class high value content to your customers at the right timing with the right frequency. These are simple yet effective tactics such as holiday greetings, quarterly contract performance reports, automated renewal pricing at the best market timing, peak grid day alerts, and contract expiration date notices. These engagement tactics are branded to your company and will make you outshine any broker in the market. The best part is that it's all automated. Our AI managed system will send them out on time without you having to lift a finger, but will also monitor your customers to make sure they are not receiving too much correspondence. To make the most of your customer engagement center, we highly recommend you keep the following emails active. All five holiday greetings, quarterly contract performance reports, renewal pricing, peak grid day alerts, and contract expiration date notices. As this customer engagement center evolves, we are going to be adding in the means for you to have controls over when these emails are sent and even more customization of the emails themselves as well as other content we provide, such as print brochures you can download and easily edit with Microsoft Word. Our customer engagement center is an easy and effective way you can stay engaged with your customers and increase your renewal chances by 30%. Our studies have shown that customers do engage with these emails and are more likely to renew a contract versus those who are not sent any kind of continued correspondence. You can log into the Customer Engagement Center by clicking on your navigation and selecting the choice. Awesome. That's some really good stuff coming down the pike. And uh, I'm going to share my screen and take you through some of that stuff here. Where we would find this information is in our back office. All right. Under the, the customer engagement, we have uh, quite a few that we've already been using on a consistent basis. And so if you look at some of these uh, mandatory emails that go to customers, such as the residential enrollment confirmation, residential sign-up confirmation, residential final confirmation, uh, customer E uh, sign confirmation. And in that rare occasion where somebody is obviously uh, not paying their bills on time and it's recognized the system or the supplier, may require that individual to uh, pay a deposit. Not common, but it does happen. So up here, we have still the LOA. And so the LOA is what we use to send to a customer to sign. And that's a letter of authorization. So if we are needing an accurate reading from the utility on their usage, 
then we would use the LOA. Now that's not typically an automatic uh, email that is sent, but you can send that directly through and it's available from your back office, uh, especially if you're going to be performing a reverse auction or custom pricing. Uh, on the other side, we have the LOE, which is also one of those items that I suggest that you always have uh, when you're doing custom pricing or the reverse auction. And so the LOE is a letter of exclusivity, which is to say that if you have a supplier that you want to include in the reverse auction or include in the custom pricing, please make sure that you have a signed LOE. If you do not, be sure to unclick them when you're doing the uh, custom pricing, because otherwise all you're going to do is notify them that you're looking at somebody else and they're going to take that customer to retention and do a deal behind your back. And it may not necessarily be in the best interest of the customer. So by using the LOE, we can include the uh, supplier that they currently have in the custom pricing or reverse auction. Uh, and the more the merrier, right? And that way they can't circumvent you. So that's really important. Uh, peak demand, uh, this is something that uh, we have been doing for quite some time. When you look at capacity tags are being read five times a year at random, uh, the system is going to send an alert to the customer, letting them know what day and at what time that's going to happen. And so if they want to be proactive and turn some things off so that their usage is little to none during that hour, uh, they could save 20, 30, I've even seen 40% next year. So that is really important for those customers. So uh, the peak electric grid alert is awesome. Mind you, anything that goes to a customer will also be blind carbon copied to you. So you'll know what the customer is actually seeing because you'll see exactly the same thing. Uh, the contract expiration notice. So as a customer is coming upon uh, an expiration, uh, the system will send them a contract renewal notice. It'll also send a copy of that to you. So that'll make you aware of it uh, as well. So. Uh, that keeps both you and the customer abreast as to what is needed, right? And the market timing. And so on the market timing, uh, email is sent to the customer uh, about when it's a good time to renew a particular contract based on market predictions. And so it's always looking at their position in the market, looking at the analytics, the market conditions, as well as their expiration, and then sending them a notice. So if a customer got this notice today, that is alerting the customer that today is going to be the best rate that you will have between now and the time that your contract expires. In reality, uh, we have seen that uh, this tool has actually been uh, very accurate in predicting a 5% lower than competitor market. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty awesome. So uh, when your customer gets this, that's uh, an alert to let them know that it's time to renew their contract. Uh, layered purchasing. So layer purchasing is a little different in that if you have a customer that is uh, perhaps maybe they want to wait to renew their contract. They feel that in the future, the rates are going to go down uh, and they want to wait and take advantage of that. Whereas if we already know that the system and the analytics are telling us uh, something else, then here's an opportunity by using layered purchasing uh, as an opportunity to take advantage of the market in the customer's best belief, not necessarily their best interest, because the customer 
is disagreeing with the perceived outcome. So if the customer says, I feel that, you know, the market, we want to wait because we believe that the market is going to go down uh, in the near future, then I would ask the customer, how sure are you? Um, are you 10% sure, 25% sure, 50% sure? Whatever their reality in their mind is, then we can take and then basically set up a reverse auction where we will put in a fixed rate and an index rate so that when we conclude, I will almost promise you that in every case, if they said that they're 80% sure at the conclusion of the auction, that number will come down. In other words, they're going to believe more on your side. So if they were at 80, they're probably going, eh, maybe 50, but then they can choose at that point. So if we're going to take, if they believe that 80% that the market is going to come down, we can take 80% of their current contract, put it on an index rate, which means if they're correct, then they'll benefit. They won't benefit if they're wrong, but they will benefit if they're right. So what you're doing is putting their belief back in their own lap to make that decision. The other 20% uh, would be on, an, on a fixed rate. So at least they'd be hedged a little bit in case they were wrong. And if they were wrong, we could always go and do a blend and extend um, and resolve that as well. But this is a great tool when you have a customer that wants to wait uh, in effort because they believe that the future uh, market conditions are going to be in their best interest to wait because they feel that the market is going to come down. Uh, E-sign uh, contract request, this is pretty common. Uh, anytime we send a, a contract, when you put a, a contract in the or, or select a supplier, uh, the system will pull the contract for that supplier uh, for that state, it will fill it out for you and then send it to the customer for an electronic signature, much like a DocuSign. They open it, type in their name, hit enter. It'll come back and attach itself right back to the account that it came from. You don't have to go looking for it through your email. It will update the platform from pending to sign and then send you and the supplier a notification that you now have signed contracts. They can do that electronically or they can download the document, wet sign it, and then scan it, and then send it back to you. If they do it that way, then they would you would have to reattach that uh, to the contract at that point. But uh, I would say 99% of the time, most people are just going to use the e-signature. Uh, it's a very simple and easy process for them. The contract performance is something that is brand new. And so on a quarterly basis, the customer is now going to start receiving uh, comparison on their total savings compared to their last contract. So on a quarterly basis, um, that customer is going to start getting some information that is basically putting your name in front of that customer and letting them know what a great job you're doing. Well, it's actually all being handled by the system, but it's always just a, a, a really good point to make sure that those customers don't forget you and that they feel like you haven't forgot them. So in our efforts to bring you the best rates on energy, uh, we're constantly comparing current prices with historic data uh, to always stay ahead of the market. So. Uh, this is a quarterly email that can go out. Uh, and then some of the, the holiday things. I think those are just nice things to say thank you or uh, to have for your customers. So you've got the happy holidays for uh, the season like we have right now uh, for Christmas. You have Labor Day emails. Everybody likes that. Uh, Memorial Day. And New Year's. Everybody loves New Year's, right? And of course, Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday of the year.
wishing you a happy holidays, right? So these are going to make life a little easier and customer engagement, keeping your name in front of them because it'll have your name on every single one of them. Now we're going to be adding some more engagement, customer engagement emails. Um, and when we're finished up here, you'll also be able to have the ability to download those uh, and use those independently, make small changes so that you can email them directly to the customer if needs be um, and use those in, in marketing ploys as well. So I think that overall, this is going to be a huge help in making sure that we're engaged with the customer. And especially when we're looking at customers that need to renew their contracts. So I think it was last week or the week before when we talked about some of the new updates um, far as the renewal system. So if you have any renewals coming up, they will appear and be right in your face the moment you go into your back office. If not, then this will probably be closed. But if you do have renewals, you wanna make sure that we don't miss that that those things don't fall through the cracks. You should have received an email. Uh, the customer certainly has received an email. And so we just wanna be very proactive in making sure, because look, if that contract expires, their rate potentially could triple. And we certainly don't want that, right? And for the sake of revenue, we wanna make sure the customer's taken care of as well. So I think these are some, some uh, great ideas in being able to have that customer engagement. Um, and I think that's going to help uh, brand you with that customer and keep you, the customer in touch with you without being overboard. I'm going to stop here for a moment and open the floor for any comments. And um, then we'll wrap things up. You know, every time you have a, a training, you know, every new information that I get with from you, uh, it's like I'm one over every time, you know, and I think and I've been thinking lately how, you know, there's so many people who are employees who are out there working. I mean, I used to be one of them who are looking for a way out, like everybody's looking for a way out. Everyone is looking for the flexibility to do something and be able to provide for themselves and their families and everything. And I feel like true power and everything we have here on this platform. And I say it every time, uh, I, but all the new information that we get, it just, it just reinforces the need to say and repeat that, gosh, we have everything we need here to, to do great work and everything that you do and that you work on, on the system and uh, for us, um, for our success is, is awesome. So thank you for doing as you do and what you do. And I like the hat. So thank you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Michael, as always. And, uh, you know, we have a, a great team of people that I don't do it alone. Um, it takes a village, right? But um, at the end of the day, you're absolutely right. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are looking for a way. Um, well, I hope that you found value in today's information, and I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season full of warmth and laughter with all of your family and friends. Remember that success is not the goal. Success is a journey. And with that, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So until next time, have fun storming the castle. Bye now.